welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm up in Sligo. So I'm on the way to Donegal. It's a beautiful warm day. Excuse the white legs, but um, I'm on the way to Donegal and I wanted to stop off at a spot that I visited around about maybe four years ago one day with Dermot and I got a couple of shots, but I wanted to get a couple of more shots. I'm actually just after finishing a one-to-one -one in Dingle yesterday and I stayed overnight and this morning I hit the road and I'm heading to Donegal. And on the way, you pass this beautiful spot called Mullig Moor. And at the back of that then as well, you have Cassie Bon, which is a castle perched beautifully on the hill. Now there's a couple of different types of shots that you can get from here. You can get some shots over here with some waves that are crashing, but there's not much in regards to wave action today. But what I want to try and do is wait for the light to move and then catch a shot, which is a kind of an iconic shot really, but it's the second iconic shot. It's using the road here as a leading line directly up to the castle. Now the castle also, it sits proudly in front of Ben Bulbin. And Ben Bulbin, ben Bulbin is a 500 meter uh, high flat plateau in uh, Sligo. And it's a really, really iconic um, structure but it's covered in cloud at the moment, so it's not gonna be really that prevalent in my image. But nonetheless, I think if I get nice light and it breaks through, then I think I actually will get a nice shot. Now, the challenge in getting this shot is having a clear road. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of cars that are passing me. So what I'm hoping to happen is that I get a nice burst of light when there is no cars. There is light in me at the moment, but as you can see here with the cars that are passing, there are cars within the road. But what I'm hopeful for is that once these cars pass, and I'll be checking it then to make sure, like right now, that there is no cars. Now, what I also want is light right on the subject. And as I say that now, another car comes as well. So it's a battle with the cars today, but I do think that I will get the gap and hopefully I have the light then as well on the uh, structure. I'm gonna be shooting handheld today. So I've got for a relatively fast shutter speed, I've got my um, image stabilization as well on. I'm using my long lens and I'm gonna zoom in to around about 200 mil. And by going into 200 mil, which I'll take the shot now, as you see, the sun is on me. Hopefully it moves on to where we want it to go. I'm just using the road to lead me up within the frame. Now I still have my two second timer on. I'm going to quickly turn that off so that I can grab the shots rather quickly. And I actually might put it onto high speed continuous. Okay, so checking there's nothing on here. I'm gonna go into the middle of the road and try and frame it in the center of the road rather than be at the side. I'm focusing on the structure. One eight hundred of a second. I'm at actually FF4. so. I'm going to change that and I will also change my ISO, just bring it back up. So now 1 800 a second F 7.1 is too dark, 1 500 of a second is okay and I can grab that shot. And I got that shot now as well, just before a car arrives. So I'll give you a look at the shot anyway now, and then hopefully, like I say, all the things will align and the light will shine on the castle and I'll get a nice bit of depth within the image. So right now I have a gap where the light is actually on the subject. There is no cars. I want to be quick and grab this. I'm at 1 500 of a second. I'm putting it directly in the center of the frame using the road. There's a lot of haze there as well. I might throw on the polarizer, but mind you, I might leave it because I think it adds to it. But now just got that shot, I think, before the cars start returning back again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to send my drone up and I'm going to have a look from the air. So these shots and then I'll show you the drone footage and I'll check back in again.
If you're passionate about capturing the beauty of Ireland through your lens, then I've got some exciting news for you today. Now, if you're anything like me, you know that Ireland is a photographer's dream come true. From our rugged cliffs to our lush countryside, there's something truly magical about this place and just begs to be captured on camera. And that's where my photography location guides come in handy. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, these guides are a must-have for anyone looking to make the most of their photography journey in Ireland. And what's even more exciting is that for the entire month of September, I'm offering incredible bundle deals on these guides, allowing you to save up to a whopping 35%. Now imagine having all the insider tips, hidden gems at your fingertips, ensuring that you capture these breathtaking shots that truly stand out. Each guide is meticulously crafted, featuring exclusive map, tips and recommendations for the best angles, plus my YouTube videos to give you a taste of the area before you even set off. So here's the deal folks, if you're planning a photography adventure in Ireland, you won't find a better opportunity than this. And this bundle deals are a steal, and they're only available for a limited time. So click on the link in the description below to grab your bundle and an incredible discount and make this September a month to remember. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on these guides if you're serious about capturing the essence of Ireland through your lens. Now, as I had the drone up there, the clouds on Ben Bulbin parted and revealed it right behind. And it's lovely actually to be able to get that shot now because you get nice separation there as well. Now, with the drone as well, I don't know if it's worked out. If it has, you've seen it here. I did a bit of a hyperlapse. Not something I often do that often, but because the clouds were moving, I wanted to see could I capture that moment as the clouds were parting and revealing Ben Bulbin there. But I think overall it's been a lovely spot. Really, really nice uh, light. The light is moving quite a lot as well, which is great, and battling obviously with the cars. So, yeah, a quick stop on Wait Donegal. Hope you enjoy coming to Mulligmore and seeing Cassie Vaughan. Hopefully, the footage in the image will, will turn out. first time on the channel I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and if you want to watch another episode I'd recommend this video here and until the next time when I see you in Donegal Schlange Fall